Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. I actually have my cat on my lap right now. Let me show you. Here he is. He doesn't like to be on camera. <laughs> but he's very clingy these days. He's 16 years old and I think that's part of it. I am going to be taking him to the vet on Monday though to make sure everything's okay. When they get to be this age, it's important to make sure that you get him checked out on a regular basis. He's still eating and drinking but I have noticed that his appetite isn't as good. So of course I'm a little bit worried about him. But anyway guys, we're not here to talk about my cat. We're here to do an unboxing. I'm gonna be opening up Didi's Deluxe Speed Box for the month of March. And you know how much I love Didi's Deluxe Speed Boxes. I've done quite a few unboxings for them and I've never been disappointed. I've always been very, very impressed as a matter of fact. And the last one was absolutely amazing. If you didn't see the unboxing for that, I'll link it down below. And if you're not familiar with Didi's Deluxe Speed Box, I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video as well. They're based out of Canada, so when you go to the website, it may be in Canadian dollars, so don't forget to do the conversion. It goes for $39.99 Canadian dollars, but when you do the US conversion, it's about 28 something, and that's based on today's rates. But anyway, I'll leave all that information down below in the description section of this video. Now before we get started, if you haven't subscribed to my channel and you think you might be interested in my content, please think about doing so. And if you could leave some comments down below and let me know what you think of today's unboxing. I'd really appreciate it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And here we have Didi's Deluxe Speed Box for the month of March 2023. As you can see, it says inspiring your creative senses. I love that. And down here we have a very cute sticker. It says warning, opening this package will cause extreme happiness and it does every single time. So let's go ahead and open it up. Let me center the box. By the way guys, do you notice anything different? I cut off my nails. I actually got a little split on this one and when that happened I decided to cut them all off. And you know what? It's so much easier to make jewelry now but I'm sure they'll grow back very soon. Let's see what's in the box. And the theme of this box is She Sells Seashells by the Seashore. Definitely a tongue twister and I don't do well with tongue twisters. I think Stella must have done that on purpose because the other day I mentioned something about a tongue twister. So let's see what it says. It says for this month's edition, I thought I'd add a little childhood fun with a classic tongue twister. I bet you can now say it three times faster. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. She sells seashells by the seashore. How did I do? <laughs> It's a good thing I got some rest because when I'm not rested, I can barely talk. That's so funny that she put that tongue twister in there. But anyway guys, as you can see, here are all the materials. And one of the things I like about the way they list them is that they always put the length of the strands as well as the number of pieces in each strand. And it looks like we have some shell beads, some coral beads, some crystals and gemstones as well. Let's take a look. And oh my goodness, it looks like another gorgeous collection of beads. I was so impressed with the February box, I didn't think they could top that, but this one looks just as gorgeous. Let me pull them out. Look at this pretty seahorse charm. Isn't it gorgeous? These colors are so pretty, and look, we get some cord. I don't think it's leather. It looks like a waxed cord of some sort, and I love this color. Let me get organized, and we'll go through each item. And here we have the first five items. As you can see, they're all strands. And oh my goodness, I love these colors. I love the combination of the blues and the tans and the coppers. We also have some gold, as you can see. And of course, the strand that stands out for me is the Inspired by Czechs designer strand. This one right here. I love these designer strands, I really do. It's a relatively new item. I think they started including these in the boxes about three months ago, maybe a little bit longer, I can't recall. But anyway guys, aren't these gorgeous? These are so beautiful. I love this one that looks like a shell. The description says this is a seashell themed inspired by Czech designer strand. Let's take a look at each one. This one looks like it has three sides and the edges are rounded and it has a gorgeous luster. And then we have some bead caps and some spacer beads and this gorgeous shell bead, look at that. It has a gorgeous purplish luster, very pretty. And here's a spacer bead. It's kind of like a bicone shape. And as you can see, we get four of these three-sided ovals. And I love this focal one. Oh my gosh, this one's so pretty. It has like a travertine finish and a copper wash. I love that design too. And as you can see, there are more bead caps there and another shell bead here. And I love these gorgeous four-sided bicones. 
the palette is absolutely gorgeous. These three-sided ovals remind me of the sand on a beach. Very pretty. And this is another gorgeous strand that caught my attention right away. These are called Tibetan Z agate beads. I think that's how you pronounce it. Some people call them DZI beads, but I believe it's pronounced Z agate. Now the description says Tibetan, which means that these are definitely authentic because that's where they're made. And you can definitely see that gorgeous agate in the middle. And you can also see the crackle effect. These are so gorgeous guys, oh my goodness. Look how beautiful these are. I see a lot of different bluish tones and they're also faceted, which makes them extra reflective. These are so beautiful. I'm really in love with this strand. But anyway, they measure eight millimeters and we get approximately 23 pieces and this is a seven inch strand. I'm definitely using those. Look how beautifully the colors coordinate. Let's take a look at this one. These are called sponge coral beads and the color is blue and they measure six millimeters in size. This is a seven and a half inch strand and we get 30 pieces. I don't think I've ever seen blue sponge coral beads. I've seen coral beads in different colors, but not blue. So I'm not sure if they're dyed. They probably are dyed. I could be wrong though. That's another thing that I've noticed with Dee Dee's Deluxe Bead Boxes. They always seem to have very unique beads. But anyway, guys, look how beautifully they coordinate with the Z agate beads. Let's take a look at this strand now. These are natural gold coral beads. Once again, I've never heard of natural gold coral beads. They almost look like tiger's eye beads. They have a very interesting shimmer. I don't know if you guys can see that as I turn the strand. They measure between five and six millimeters. And this is a seven and a half inch strand and we get approximately 35 pieces. These are definitely gonna look stunning out in the sunlight. They're also a little bit textured. They're not completely smooth and I like that. Very beautiful. And I recognize these. I love Hishi beads. These are natural hand cut Hishi shell discs. Boy, that was a tongue twister. <laughs> Try saying that three times in a row. But anyway, they measure six millimeters in diameter and we get approximately 95 pieces. And this is a seven and a half inch strand. I've used Hishi beads before many times, but I really love the shell discs. Very gorgeous. They give a piece a very organic look. Let's take a look at these bicones. These are crystal bicones. The color is Montana blue and they're faceted as you can see. And they definitely have a gorgeous plating. You can see it as I turn the strand. So pretty. They measure four millimeters in size and this is a 14 inch strand and we get approximately 95 pieces. So these are gonna add an element of sparkle and we have all these textures and finishes to work with. I love it when I'm given a lot of different elements to work with. The other thing that's nice about Didi's Deluxe bead boxes is that they always give you a variety of sizes as well ranging from very small beads to larger beads. Let me get some more items. And here are the next five items. I feel like I'm on vacation and I just came back from a walk at the beach and these are the things I collected. Once again, we have a variety of finishes and shapes and the colors are definitely very beach-like, sandy colored. Let's take a look at this strand. These are actually 14 karat gold plated hematite hishi discs and boy, is that special. How often do you get 14 karat gold plated items in a box? It's so rare. But anyway, these measure four millimeters in size and we get approximately 75 pieces. And this is a three inch strand. So I'm definitely gonna be taking my time designing with these. I'm gonna make sure I use them wisely because they're 14 karat gold plated. Very pretty, oh my gosh. These are so gorgeous. I'm so impressed. And look how nicely they coordinate with these shell beads. Let's take a look at them. The description says this is a gold plated conch shell mix. Now it doesn't say 14 karat gold, it just says gold plated. So I don't think it's a precious metal, but they're gorgeous nonetheless. Let's see if they're drilled. It doesn't look like they're drilled, but they do have that opening, which you can definitely use. Let's take a look at this one. This one has a loop at the top, as you can see. So this would make a great charm or a pendant. Very pretty. And these four are the same as you can see. That's the front and that's the back. Aren't these beautiful? I love these. My wheels are turning, but I'm definitely gonna be taking my time when I go to design something. Let's take a look at this pendant. This is a natural conch shell teardrop pendant. 
And it's interesting because the description says that it's a flawed conch shell teardrop pendant. I'm not sure what they mean by flawed. I mean, I know what flawed means, but it's interesting that they would include that in the description. But anyway, it measures 50 millimeters. And as you can see, it has a hole at the top. So you can definitely thread cord through that. I think it's beautiful. I really do. It has that beautiful mother of pearl reflection. Very nice. I love it. Let's take a look at these. I'll put these on a rod. Here are five of them. We get a total of 10. These are called imitation river stone pebbles and they're definitely a great imitation because they look very real to me. The description says that they measure 15 millimeters. I think that's actually the length of them and they look like maybe 12 millimeters in diameter. But what I like about these is that they definitely look real, but yet they're lightweight. So that means that you could use these in earrings if you wanted to. Sometimes when you use natural stones for earrings, they can be a little heavy, but you could definitely use these. I don't know if that's what I'll do, but that's just an idea. I love them. Let's take a look at these. I'll put these on a rod as well. These are very interesting as well. They're called matte stone check glass teardrops. They measure 14 by eight millimeters and we get a total of six. And they do look like stone, don't they? It's amazing how they get these finishes on these beads. I would never have guessed that these are glass beads. And each one is different as you can see. That is so cool. And once again, because these are glass, they're a little bit more lightweight than natural stone. Don't get me wrong, I like natural stone, but I also like glass beads that have a stone finish. And of course, I love this color. It reminds me of sand. So nice. Let me get some more items. And here are the last five items. And to me, this is like the icing on the cake. I love these coconut shell components. And I love that they gave us these beautiful metals, the copper and the patina. Let's take a look at these. These really have me intrigued. These are coconut leaf buttons, and this is a connector. Isn't that cool? So interesting. The leaf buttons measure 30 by 15 millimeters, and the connector measures 40 by 20 millimeters. I can see this connector on a bracelet actually because it's curved. It is so beautiful, guys. And then of course I'd use one of these leaves as a button clasp. I'm thinking of all kinds of things right now. But like I said before, I'm going to have to take my time designing. And these leaves are a little bit different on the back, as you can see. They have the veining on the front. And on the back, they're smooth. But they're absolutely gorgeous. I love them. Let's take a look at these starfish. As you can see, we get a total of six. They measure 20 millimeters across. They're the same on both sides. And let's see where the hole is. There's the hole. So you could make charms with these or you could use them on a strand. And of course they would make adorable earrings. I love the color and I love the texture. Very pretty. I thought I would put them on my rod to give you a different view. It's easier to get inspiration when you see things threaded on. But anyway guys, I really love these little starfish. I think they're adorable. And I'm definitely gonna have fun designing with these. Let's take a look at these bead caps. We get tons of bead caps as you can see. They measure eight millimeters in size and they're in an antique copper color as you can see. And we get a total of 50 pieces. So that's a huge amount. I can actually see these on those pebble beads, believe it or not. I'm not sure if that's what I'll do. I don't think I wanna cover the Tibetan Z beads, but I can definitely use them on the river stone pebbles and maybe those matte stone check glass teardrops. I'll have to think about it. Let's take a look at this cute seahorse charm. This is actually listed as a bonus item. It's an antique copper seahorse charm with a patina finish, as you can see. The description actually says that this is Stella's favorite sea animal, and it definitely adds an ocean theme to the whole collection. Let's take a look at the other side. There's the back. As you can see, it has the patina on the back as well, and it has a loop, so that's nice. I think it's absolutely adorable. And I know it's listed as a charm, but I would actually use this as a pendant as well. Very nice. Let's take a look at this cord. I love this color. This color is called Camel, and this is one millimeter wax cotton cord. But even though it's wax, it doesn't feel sticky at all. I've used wax cords before that are really sticky and kind of moist, which I don't necessarily like, but this is pretty dry wax cord. It feels really good and it feels really supple as well. 
and we get about two yards worth so that's quite a bit there's definitely enough here to make a couple of necklaces and maybe a couple of bracelets as well very nice well, here's the full collection and I have to say Didi's Deluxe Beadbox really outdid themselves this month. I am so impressed with this collection. As you can see I swapped out the flowers for these shells. I should have done that sooner. So if you're just tuning into this unboxing keep in mind that these are not part of the box. <laughs> I purchased them last summer when I went to the beach. Actually I found these two little ones but the big one I purchased at a souvenir store. But anyway guys I think Stella from Didi's Beads did a wonderful job coordinating the colors and coming up with this gorgeous theme. And like I said, it has all the elements that's going to make it easy to design something. We have beautiful luster finishes, we have matte finishes, we have the coconut components, we have the shell, and of course we have this gorgeous strand of 14 karat gold plated hematite hishi beads, or hishi discs I should say. And Stella made sure she added some sparkle as well with these beautiful bicones. And I love the combination of the copper and the gold metals. We have these two special strands, the Tibetan beads and the designer strand. There's definitely a lot to work with. So it's not going to be very difficult to come up with something, but I'm definitely going to take my time because I want to come up with something really beautiful. Let me put these away and I'll come back and say goodbye. Well now, after seeing all these gorgeous beads, I'm in the mood to go to the beach. What a nice theme to have at the end of winter. Of course, I'm talking about winter in the US. I know some of you don't live in the US, but I guess if you have plans for the summer and you want to make jewelry for your vacation, now's the time to make it. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's unboxing. I really love this box this month. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to work with it. I think Stella and her team really outdid themselves this month. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.